Okay, so we had some fun at the volleyball game. And I want to show you what I got done. Okay, I have... Okay. This... So I have some extra pieces cut out that need to go into the um, big uh, collage envelope, but I have this cutie who's gonna be leaning on this dog. I've got, oh, this girl with a little kind of border thing going on, and she's looking weirdly at the goat lady with the ribbon. So I think that one's cute. I love this one. I love this one because she's size inclusive. She's not a skinny um, magazine collage girl. That was already there. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. Uh oh. With him and these, there's one more somewhere. I'll have to keep my eye out for it. There was one more um, cup like that. I got this gal who I need to do something with. Those pages are already done. This gal needs some work. Oh no, here actually is the rest of it. This is all the stuff from that I cut out this weekend. So we got more stuff if we need it. Okay, boop. Oh, and I have um, this whole paper doll who is just floating around. Okay, so I want to do some of the mixed media part now. Meaning that I want to have something besides um, and I'm going to take this out because I'm going to mix media over here, too. I want to have something besides just magazine collage, paint, and indie ink. For me, that's what mixed media means on, on my own. So the first thing I'm going to do, I think... Oh, my goodness. Look how cute that is down there. Now, that won't show up. This is one of those... Uh, oh, that's cute. This is one of those Stencil Revolution stencils. And I don't want to take away from her. So I am going to do it in a dark color. Ooh, purple. I have a very dark purple, which is... Villainous Potion from the new Tim Holtz um, archivals. Get my purple ink out and maybe a little black. So we're gonna we're gonna put this down and this will stain your um, stencil. I don't mind that and I think you could use archival ink remover maybe to get rid of it, but it just doesn't bother me. All right, so we got that. And then let's grab, while this is still down here, awkwardly with one hand, the black soot. And my gray is black and gray, my little gray handle. I have a little bathtub over on the side. And I am going to go kind of just hit the bottoms of this. I just want to get a little variation of color in here. Let's see what that looks like. <gasps> Cute. Oh, except now I want the eye to show up more. That black really helped make some contrast. Oh, evil eye. 
Now I'm going to be able to doodle around this evil eye. Cute, okay, I love that. So let's go through and see what other stenciling I can do, okay? On the pages that I have working. I think that's all my pages, Ooh, medical book. All of my pages I'm actually actively working on in this journal right this second. Oh, there's a frog. This is the lizard from Geico. And I fixed his little, um, I fixed his little legs so they look cuter. I would definitely like something there. Okay, let's do... I just happened to have them and grab them my Stencil Revolution stencils. Where'd the rest of them go? Did I leave them back here in the front? That happens sometimes. So for this one, I have Sullivan's Irish Pub, but, and I love that it's green for my friend Deborah Ward, who is an Irish lass. And I love that it goes with here, but I don't want a Sullivan's Irish Pub on there. So I am going to do kind of off the edge here. Cute, just for a little, you know, adding to the background of that piece. And these are really kind of the only stencils that I have that have like a theme to them. I kind of love that. All right, let's do a few shamrocks. I'll think of this as my Dev Ward piece. Okay, she's going to want me to tell you shamrocks have four ones and clovers only have three and Irish people get mad if we call clover shamrocks. I find Irish people to be grumpy. All right, I only know one or two. They're funny. Okay. I kind of feel like I do think I want some black down here while I'm here with this. Let's see. I'm just trying to get some texture. Oh yeah, I like that. Let's do some over here. And I am just moving it around so there's not like a, here's this, here's that. This isn't, that isn't what this is for. This is for, so I could even turn it this way. See, I just want to get a little bit of stuff. Oh, I really love that. I'm going to put this over here. So, first step one, get out your inks. Yay, I love that there's a little something going on in the background. <laughs> All right, she's on here. I feel like I did a good job because I did this in a Diane Reevely class and I did a good job of backgrounds because Diane is good at backgrounds and nagging you about your backgrounds and make sure you have a background. Okay, we're going to do some in, we're going to see what happens if we do wild honey because it might or might not show up. And I have bought a new solution to what has become a rather big problem in my life, which is how many stencils I have. This is a uh, Vicki Booten stencil. Let's see what happens if we do this. Do we get anything? We get a little bit, not much. Okay, Wild Honey isn't gonna be a big enough contrast. Uh, it's kind of black and white, so let's go black to black. Back in black. And then we'll do gray, too. I have a gray. Oh, we could do frayed burlap. That's a pretty color. 
Okay, so we're gonna do gray and black. Where's my black one? That's my brown one. Oh, here's my black one. I like these starry looking ones. And I don't want them all over, I just want them here and there. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's good, I like that. A lot of times I would have done this with um, paint, but I am at the point where if I don't use my all my stuff, I'm not gonna be allowed to keep it, which would make me sad, because I can't keep, sorry, I'm wiggling the crap out of you. Um, I can't keep stuff in my art room that I don't use. That's not fair to all the stuff that gets used, right? Being all squished. Okay, so I feel like that's good. I feel like I'm missing just a couple. Okay. Okay, him. On this orange, I don't feel like is far enough along to bother with right this second. I got other ones. I got other ladies who are further along. So let's do this one. I need something in red. Something in red. All right, I'm going back to stencil resolution. Revolution for a Ouija board. Now. You might know how to say that. Some people say a Ouija board. We're going to put this slightly back together. Otherwise, we'll wind up with them all messed up. This is frayed burlap. This is black. Did I put the wild honey? Yep. This is why you got to keep doing this. Rustic wilderness and wild honey. You can't, you can't mess with them or you're going to open one up. You're going to take a big old swishy swishy and totally screw up your project. Ask me how I know. Okay, so we're going to do this with red. This is fired brick. I absolutely love this. You know I'm a bit airy fairy, and I like a Ouija board. Me and Desi were talking about them on the way to Atlanta. Okay, we're definitely gonna have to have some black in there to make this work on the places where the red is already really red, right? And that nice, um, I got to pick, but that nice stencil revolution. Oh, there we go. See, just a hint of it. I think I'm going to do it twice over here. Um, that nice stencil revolution sent me this size, which is the size I use. Now, this is, Tim Holt says this, and we're seeing it in action here. I hope you can see this. If... You want your red to be pure, pure red. You have to clean off that stencil because the red archival ink is activating the black archival ink that I put on before. That's just how the world of ink works, right? So if you are feeling like you want pure, pure red, that's just not part of my design aesthetic, 
but it could be part of yours, you would want to really clean your um, stencil. See, now there's black on there. What'll happen is it won't go anywhere. It'll be permanent until you touch it with some kind of um, archival ink again, which is oil-based, I believe. Um, at which point it will activate the black and reconstitute it. And then it'll come off. So if I was doing like a yellow, I would probably, um, you know, like try to clean this off a wee bit so it, it didn't make it too dark, but oh, that's cute. Okay, now what are we gonna do on this one? We need to do something here. This is more of a goatee happy. Oh, we could go back to Vicky Booten, the Vicky Boo, and do, what color do we wanna do? Oh, we got green on here. Let's do green again. Do we have a different green? No, we'll use this green. Green and red are class complementary colors. So they will always contrast. So they go together, right? So a complementary color means it's going to go together, but it's also going to be super high contrast. So this is going to be um, short of putting black on here. The most contrast I could make, if I put orange or yellow or one of those other colors, we wouldn't. you wouldn't see it pop off the page as much as since I did it with this color. Nice. It's just getting a little bit. You can only see a little bit, which is what I want. I don't want this to be like the background spots are not the feature. Oops. I wasn't supposed to do that one. Okay. A little bit on there. Good job me. We're done with the ink and you do want to close those up because they will dry out and like i said i do have a solution for my stencil issues i will be showing it to you soon okay she goes here and she and her nope where's her dog we have to find her dog Go there, and she goes here, and she goes here. Okay, so now, remember we made, I know, for you it was like 30 seconds ago. For me, it was a week ago. We made these really cool things. I want to start using some of our really cool things. Okay, so, ooh. Ooh, I like these hearts. I like this. Where are the hats? I made some hats. I feel like she could have a hat. Didn't I cut out some of my hats? Oh, I'm going to have to look in my bag because I definitely want some of my hats. Or... Maybe we could put a mask on her. Uh, I don't know. I love that. I think I want, if I'm going to do a mask, I want it on something. But there we go. She could have that. All right. I found my hats. So she's just a little bit tall to have a hat. So we won't do a hat on her, but I feel like we could add some mixed media around here. Oh, I love her. Ooh, does she need a wing? Ooh, this is all green. But... Could we put a wing on her? Oh, look at that. Yes, she needs a wing. Oh yeah, for sure. I want 
a little something up there. I know I did some circly bits. Let's find them. Oh, this is one. I want to make something cute on her head. Oh, if we do a gold one up there, it will match the gold one over here. Give her like a hair bow. I really love that. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to do a hair bow of some, some type. Maybe it's this one. Hold on. Well, I think this actually goes with this one. But then to me, that feels like trying too hard. Okay, we're going to do this and this. And I need one more thing in there. Do I need a stem? No. How about, oh, could we make a little tiny hat for her? Like that? Oh, yeah. That's what I want. Okay. So we are going to make her a tiny hat stuck on top of her head. You know I like me a hat. Well, I might have to poke it with a pin. Hang on. All right, here we go. So we're gonna put this hat on her head, kind of tipped rakishly. And then, I feel like that goes sideways. And that will fit. And then I almost feel like these two little guys hanging down at the bottom aren't adding. So we're going to cut those off and put this as the bottom part of her head. Oh, I love that. Now this, I may have to let sit a second more than I usually would for the glue to work because it's gluing plastic to plastic. Okay, so we're gonna put her wing on. Do we want her wing? I don't want it to have a hole, so I'm gonna do it that way. Oh, and this is that masquerade one from Sizzix. Which made an excellent wing for my goat. Okay, so now she has a wing. She's got that. What do we want? Do we want her to have a heart? I made some really pretty hearts. I almost think I want the hearts to be the Tommies. Can I do some? I did this. Do this across the bottom in the back as a layer. I kind of like that. That one doesn't feel covered enough. This one still has a lot of the metal stuck in it. That one. Oh, we have that gal. Where's that gal? Okay, that should be enough there. Don't forget, we have that one gal. Okay, I'm not sure about that yet, so we're gonna we're gonna keep this here. Now, I really feel like we could use some stuff on this page. Ooh. Ooh, she needs hair. Can we do a hat on her? Shouldn't make my people so darn tall. I feel like we might be able to do a hat on her because her head goes in the 
Here, I'll show you. Hang on. And she has kind of poofy hair. We can figure this out. And these hats are on my website. You can download them for free and print them at home or I send them to the UPS store. You can print them out. I drew them and colored them for you. So they are 100% copyright free. And they're based on that nice lady who's the Queen of England who wears 11 T billion hats. And then on each of these, you'll see, oh, please don't hurt. I'm trying to stick this all the way through and it hurts when it pokes me. Oh, there we go. And then you cut this part. So that you can stick their head in the hat. I know it's probably hard to see on this one, but there's a definite delineation between the top part of the hat and the inside bottom of the hat. Just gonna flatten that out a little bit. And then you can stick the hat on their head the way a hat would go. Okay, I feel like her hair is really big, so we're going to give her a haircut. Okay, there we go. Now her hat fits on beautifully, but I'm wondering, and will that fit? Yep, I'll just have to cut off a teeny bit of the top of her hat. But I'm thinking, I was thinking I wanted to make like hair with some of these. It might not be with a hat, it might be too much, but I wanted to see if I could make crazy hair. Mm, I don't love that. Let's see. All right, first off, I want her head. There we go. There we go. Now her hat's sitting on her head right. Okay. So I want to get her some hair for sure. Hi, Kitty. Yeah? Ooh, that's cute. I don't think I have two of those, though. Note to self, make two of each. Hi, honey. Oh, here's a big one. Okay. So, hi, sweetheart. You need to see a manager? She needs to see a manager. Okay. I was thinking, we're going to try it. I was thinking we could make them crazy hair with these. And I kind of feel like they go, I still want to see the hat like that. What do you think? I think that's it. Okay, we're gonna glue this whole thing. Hi honey, what's up? You need to see a manager? I know.
Did something happen? You got your kitty spot. Hers got her kitty spot. Hi. Hi. Okay, so I need to glue this. to get her hair in here, behind her head. And I need to glue this to get this side of her hair in beside her head. Push on that for one second. I don't know why I have to have such messy fingers. And then we need to glue her big old melon to the back of this with her hat. Look at how cute she is with her fun little hair. Okay, I like her. We might be ready to glue her down. Okay, she just fits with her new hair now. Because her hair's a little bit big. You know me, I'm an 80s girl. I like some, I like me some big hair. Okay, let's go ahead and glue everything but this arm down. And then we'll come back and glue that arm down. Don't you love her little flower dress? And if you don't want to glue on your page, don't glue on your page, right? Like, I'm getting glue all over my page. It doesn't bother me. It might bother you. I just use it as kind of a resist. But for sure, it could bother some people to have random bits of glue all over their collage page. In which case, she just put it off to the side, right? Oh shoot, I did, I did, um, gosh darn it, I did glue his hand, her hand, their hand. Okay, 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 okay. All right, I'm gonna have to sneak the doggy in under there. Oh, so cute. All right, this stuff it's harder to glue down than our normal magazine collage stuff. So you need to get contact and pressure. That's what makes glue work. Normally we don't have to have contact and pressure because we're just gluing down lightweight pieces of magazine collage. But if you're going to be cutting and embossing and doing all that, you got to put in a little bit more effort than I usually do. Uh-oh. Scooch this cutie in under there. And he can be leaning on him. Sweet. Now I do think that as I go, if we're gonna do media mixed media magazine collage, I will probably put more stuff on, right? Like add to her skirt or do things like that. But Everybody wants to be really good at stuff right away, and I just want to practice. So I want to practice and see what happens if I do this. I want to practice and see what happens if I do something else. I'm not that worried about being perfect. Okay, I love her eyes, so we're not going to mess with those. I could use something on her tummy. What do we have that I could put on her tummy? How about another squiggle? I got a squiggle going over there. What is this squiggle? Nope, that doesn't do anything. She's missing an arm. Does she want a wing instead of an arm? 
I do think she wants a wing instead of an arm, but I want a different color wing. So we could use this as a wing. That's cute. I'm not opposed to that. Let's see what else we got. We could use a star shine as a wing. Nope, that's not big enough. We need something relatively big for her wing. Oh, what's this one? This is a pretty one. Ooh, that's a pretty one. I kind of like that for a wing. And then I want a little something to cover that. Oh, look, I got the same thing going on. Oh, I love that. Okay, so we're gonna do this. And stick that on the back of her. Let's see, I don't know how much of it I want. I think I don't want that much. That's perfect. And then we're going to do over to about here. And I love that that's not all um, covered with the embossing. I think that looks really cool. So I got this. Uh -oh. And now that can go all the way over there. There we go. Okay, so do we want something on her head? I can always make her legs shorter if need be. So let's not fret about I think these make good hats. I kind of like that as a hat. Do I have any more of these guys? I really like that as a hat. Let's see, what could we do with that? That could be cute. It's a little boring. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. So I've always meant to cut these off, right? These are going to be lines to write on. So we'll put this over here as a line to write on. But look how cute that looks on there. So we're going to, and we don't have to cut off her head or anything. So we're going to put her little hat on her head over top of the eye, I think. Just to kind of blend those two together. Cute. And then we're going to give her a little thingy on her chapeau to make it look cute. Yeah, that's the right one. Oh. Well, the thingy on the chapeau pushed us just a bit too far, just a bit too far. So we're gonna have to cut off our legs and move them up a little bit. That is okay. Nobody minds that. It takes two seconds to move her legs. Well, I feel like I want something in her tummy so that I don't have to um, necessarily draw something. I'm not your world's best artist. 
so we are going to put something in the middle of her tummy. So that nice pterodactyl doesn't have to draw. Okay, there we go. I like that I could move her leg a little bit over from her um, purse. That was bothering me. That I'm going to put right there as an accent. And I want to write more in this book. So having little places where I can write that already have a thing on them will be good for me. Okay, that's cute. She's stuck. Let's stick. Oh, we got to find something for her tummy. Nope, too big, too big, too stand outy. Too much like that. I am like the princess and the pea of things to put on her tummy. That does not cover the spot on her tummy. Uh, I don't mind that. Matches her back, the back of her thing. Gives me something to do, covers up a spot. Looks a little fancy. Solves a bunch of my problems. Okay, let's glue her down. So, one of the things I did was I took a Diane Reevely class on, oh, this book, Altered Books. I'll put a link to it. And it, she did so much stuff on a page, right? Like not every page. It's not like every one of her pages is crazy busy, but a couple of the pages that I made in here that are crazy busy, made me so happy and I realized that I like um, when there's lots of stuff going on and lots of dimension and gizmos and things. So, oh gosh darn it, pulled off our little schnuggie on this end. That's okay. Nope, I think I'm even gluing the wrong side. I don't know what's happening. Boop. There we go. What is my super power? Glue and scissors! Yay! Me. So I have decided to do a lot more layers in my artwork. Not all of it. If I'm just doing a fluffy little magazine collage, it doesn't have to have a million layers. But if I'm doing like little pieces of art art, like my father-in-law wants a piece of art to hang on his wall, that's part of why I'm practicing this here because I'm going to have to get better at this before I can give him a piece of artwork, right? My father-in-law is a de delightful, non-judgmental man who taught in the New York public school systems for years art, who never judges. I'm the only one judging me because that's how we are. Artists are. Okay, so I have what, three I can doodle tonight? Let's see what else we can do. I really love her. like what is up with the goat lady okay so now let's get out I want to do some rubbies do I have a rubby tool do I have a handy dandy rubby tool can I get a rubby I don't think I have a rubby tool so not to worry I have several thousand rubby tools So let's take 
I love this saying for skill and amusement only. Let's take this little bit. out. And these are transfers, rub-on transfers. And you can tell when they're sticking because they unstick from here. And you can do all of them like I am here, or you can just do little pieces of them. thing is they're fast and easy. I'll put this one coming down here. And it's funny, years ago in the 80s and 90s when my mom was still alive, she had so many of these because she did um, layouts for like newsletters and things like that. And she would have um, like sheets of letters where she would rub off A and B and C. So this really reminds me, don't worry, I will, I like that that happened and I will um, just use some India ink dye on that. All right, I love that. What else do we have in our little bag of tricks here? Okay, we've got some words, so I don't need words this time. I'm gonna be taking a little class from Diane about words, so I think I'm gonna be good with that for this one. Let's do this. I'm just gonna glue these two girls down and then work on them tonight. I won't make you watch me do that. Oh, this one, I feel like we could use something. Let's do, I like that same spot. It's very odd that the same spot, but we'll go this way this time. How about if we go that way? That's good. And it does sort of kind of stick itself on to make it easy to do. And like I said, I just want to do more mixed media and mixed media means using a mix of things. So that is what I'm doing. I'm using a mix of things. Hmm. Well, I don't know that I want one on here. Okay, she's stuck, she's stuck. Let's glue her on. I will doodle these gals, these four gals tonight and probably put words on them. And then I will show you those when I am done. And I know lots of you wanna see me doodle. And I just did one that's called Willy Wonka that has a ton of doodling in it so you get to see it. It's a super long one. Now, I can't doodle with you every single time because this is actually my art and my fun time. And I doodle in my room at night when I'm watching videos or I'm doing something for me. So like just now, I went four days and spent them watching volleyball. And then I had Emmy for the day and I didn't get to do anything for me. So tonight, 
I am going to be doodling my magazine collage for me, right? Good boundaries make good neighbors. And I may glue some other stuff down, but I will show you all of it at the end. But I feel really good that we used some of these um, cutouts, some of the die cuts for helping these collages on. Because I feel like if we can get the die cuts to be a regular part of my crafting, see, I think that looks really cute, her hat. her head stuck on. I gotta put this on here for her to get that stuck down and get her hair stuck. I feel like I'm just getting glue all over everywhere because I got it on my hands. Okay, and she's stuck down, she's stuck down. Okay, she's stuck down. These girls are stuck down and I'm gonna do some writing. This looks good, what about her? Could we do a cute hair on her? With the doggy. So what do we think? I almost think like I want, mm -hmm. I don't mind that. So this is going down to here. I have this extra piece, right? So that's going down to there. I could plump it up on one side with an extra piece. I could get another one. I don't think I want, I think I want to make a ton of these flowers. Oh, there's a problem. Oh, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna do this. There we go. And go across here. Oh, that's cute. I like that. All right, I can make crazy hair with that. on here. I don't think I turned you off. But I made her a little dog hair head, which I like because it kind of goes together. I'm moving that around and then we're going to put her on here. She was taken literally out of the garbage. I had her on a different thing and I didn't like the whole thing. And then I was like, Okay, well, let's keep her. And then I added the dog ears to her from just having them laying around. So this is not, like I always say, these aren't precious to me. These are just fun little collages I'm doing to make myself happy and to try new things, right? That's, to me, the whole key to this is to learn something new on each one I do. Okay. And we are gonna have to stick her down. 
because she's on cardboard. Or not maybe not cardboard, but she's heavier than just magazine collage images. So if we're gonna do mixed media, we're gonna have to get better at pushing down our gluey projects. Now I am wondering, and I think I'm going to do it. No, I don't know. I feel like that might take away. I think to use numbers that big, I'm going to have to have a pre-plan, right? I'm just glad that she found a home. And this is a tuck spot, so we can tuck something in there. All right. Oh, this is the busy one I was telling you about. Okay, that one's doing good. This one, I need more, I need something over here. Something for her to do. She's not ready to go yet. But if I put her in here, she stays safe, right? Right. This one should be fun. This is, hold on, where'd it go? This is going to be a, oh, where'd that little girl go? Where'd that, at? I had another one. Hold on. There is a magazine collage woman floating around here somewhere partially done. I'm going to find her. She may be able to go there because she's little. That's the dog. That's that lady. This is, oh, we could maybe put him there. I lost one of those. I don't know where it went. There she is. I see her. Okay, so I have two of these. Let's see who we like to be over here. What's that? Oh, I put this in there. That's pretty. Okay, here we go. So she could be, I feel like he's here. He just got some stuff stuck on his neck. Ain't no thing. Okay. Audit. Nice. Do these masks. That mask is too big for him. Are there any masks that fit him? I know there's little masks. Little lure masks. But I don't see. There's one. It's kind of bent over. That is not going to be big enough for him. Okay. So I am. I kind of love him. He's going to go here with all of my beautiful. Oh, I have greens. Do I have another green bush? Oh, I got some green stuff. Anything else green in here? Ooh, there's a green star. And a green gizmo. Okay. Do we want... I definitely want to put that there. Okay, 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 okay. I love this here. To kind of break up that piece of lettuce. Oh, I'm such a beast. Okay, glued down. Now we have some options. I don't like that. I don't mind that. I don't mind this, like a bush. And then maybe we have this. Oh, I love that right there. See, sometimes I know what I don't like very much. Like, I have an immediate ick. And then sometimes I have an immediate, oh, that is it. Okay, even on something skinny like this, if we're going to be doing heavier pieces, we got to push them down. 
You've got to remember that. I say it like you're fighting me on this. No, we won't remember it. Of course you will. I think this is a bush. Oh yeah, that's a bush. Oh, we have those cool things. Hold on, let me show you some cool things. We have these guys. You can't really see that one. I need some more of those guys. Here's one. And it's pink. Oh, that's got to go in there. Okay, this is going to get cut off right there. And this is going to be sticking out of the house. See? It already looks cuter. We're just adding a whole bunch of interest and layers. What else do I have? Oh, I got little ones, little greeny ones. Do we want to do one of those? Over here? I do. Okay, now this is where I feel like, I tend to not do this. This is not how I make art usually, by doing a whole bunch of stuff and then in each order. I usually do um, one whole piece at a time. That's just kind of how my art goes. So my thought is, the way I, that I do art, knowing how I do art is, Instead of cutting these out and doing these in colors, I should um, cut out a whole bunch of them and then I can do them in the colors that I want. Okay, does she need a hat? Oh, she for sure needs this hat. So now, like I said, you just stick your scissors in, ouch, and you go along, and if you come up from the bottom, you make less of a mess. And then you can just slide their head into that hat. Oh, that's cute. I feel like I am going to That's really freaky. Do I have little <laughs> uh, let's do the back of his head and then I'll paint whatever it is on the front. I feel like this starburst is the answer to my prayers. There we go. That is going to be his hair. So let me glue his hat on first. And then I'm going to color him some bangs. You know we like a nice bang here. <laughs> Get it? No. Okay. All right. It's just not acceptable. All right, do I go? Yeah, I think I go there. So, oops, this part goes under 
here, like this, under his ear. Oh my gosh, somebody got to keep their ears. And then this part goes here. Right along the edge of his face, right? Yep, right like that. Okay, looks good. Oh, that looks cute. So nice, we'll do that twice. Okie dokie. There we go. And while we let that dry for a wee second, we had a ton of stuff and I'm sure I had more eyes. because I'm always hacking out people's eyes. So let's see if we got a set of eyes for this guy. Oh, I got some cute stuff in here. Some Tommies. Oh, maybe we need some flowers for this one. I don't know. Oh, there's the other one. See, I told you there were three of those. Okay, okay. Oh, I got these big glasses and there's some eyes. Okay, so we'll see which of those we wanna use on this fella. Okay, those feel super big. Those feel super big. I feel like I could get these to not feel so big. And I'm gonna make them sad, meaning I'm gonna take them and turn them backwards and upside down, backwards, not upside down. And tip them down so they look sad. Okay, first off, I need to take a little bit of this off because there's a white thing there. And then I'm wondering on this one if I just turn them because they're really big and small. Yep, I like them sad. I like me some sad eyes. And it really is however you like your magazine to collage to look, right? Your magazine collage to look. Because for you, you might be looking at sad eyes going, that's not cute. I don't like how that looks. And that's good. So in yours, you would do it different. But All right, now we are gonna stick him down. I think he turned out super cute, don't you? Okay, for you long people, you people that want a long video, this one's for you. No more nagging for a little while, okay? Okay. There we go. So this is what I'm gonna work on tonight and I will be back. Holy buckets, my desk is a bit of a mess. I haven't been here in a couple days. It's been a busy week. All right, so this is where we wound up. So this is Karen. She's a card carrying member of the Mean Girls Club and she's judging Gladys. Gladys knows the cool girls think she shouldn't be a dancer, but she doesn't give a fig she's feeling herself. Look how pretty. Okay, things I did. Made flowers, wrote in the side. I'm kind of looking at some of Tisha Moore's old stuff and seeing what she did. 
and trying to um, do it in my style. So here I did stripes and then dots using part of the design of the border. I'm finding I like a border. Um, over here, I sort of made a border with the dots that come off of Gladys's um, dangles that we have, but I, I think this worked well. Now, I'm having a little trouble over here because um, I don't really have a border going, so I might try like Diane Reevely's stencils around the border or something. I don't know yet. And um, so I did some spots. I love how I painted those flowers on his sweater, her sweater, uh, put on a hat. Not sure where I left off. This is Margie. Margie's the friend of, um, is the wife of a friend of mine and she lights a room with her smile. Um, I had to redo up, so I'm working on that. I'm working on my writing. So one of the things that I don't like is it's very um, normal, rather than being up and down and curly and stuff, but I have to start somewhere, so I'm starting here. So, and I love how this came out. This is from Tim Holtz's flower stems that was just a stem and I put art in there mixed media pieces are the Tommy her hat and her thing little dig over here this over here this here I think that's the only one on there the wing and her hat so that's where we're going to stop today because this is super long but hopefully that helps Tara Jacobson artsy fartsy life